Hello everybody, this is Concrete History Games, and welcome back to part 7 of my Reconquista playthrough here in Crusade Kings 2 Holy Fury. First things first, I did promise, wait, whoops, we're going to seek treatment. Alright, we're going to do that. Um, also, we are going to simultaneously declare this war. Claiming Portugal, calling in my allies... Help me out, buddies. Okay. Any other packs I need to know about? Form alliance. This countess won't do it. All right. Screw you then. I just noticed cancer has the crab. <laughs> what a cute way for it. What a cute thing for a horrible disease. Um, one, two, three, four, five. You know what? I'm going to do some quick math here. I know I should have done this in between episodes, but you know that's just the way it goes, I guess. So we, if we're going to form Hispania, we've got 64 counties. So if you divide that by 100 and then times 80, we're going to need, depending on how it's rounded, we're going to need, we're definitely going to need over 50 of them, 50, like 51, 52. So that means we cannot have, let's say 12 of the counties and pull it off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, that worked out really nicely. So basically, I need to take Portugal and I need to take Granada, this kingdom of Granada that has been formed here, and apparently also this. But basically, my aunt and King Sancho must both fall. And then I'd be allowed to create Hispania. Oh, does this count though? Whoops. I forgot to count this. No, it would still... Yeah, so I'd have to pick this up. Although I also have the claim over here, which in six years... Oh, we just need this to work. My court physician has come to see you and offers you treatment for your illness. As long as you know what you're doing. Don't cut something off. Don't cut something off. Don't cut something off. Don't cut something off. When Nuno enters your chamber, he was followed by an air most foul. The stench seems to originate from the jar in his hands. A mixture of cow's dung and herbs for your poultice, master. When Nuno pr proceeded to smear it on your chest, you almost retched, but I actually feel better. Nice! Okay, I think we're clear for five years. Very good, very good. For five years, that'll pretty much get us there. Let the war begin. We're going to probably end up having to uh, get some money from the Jews. Now, is, she, is uh, did he call in my aunt? He's not doing it. He doesn't seem to be calling in Ergon either. Message about arranging a marriage. My sister to who? The kingdom of Galicia, Volhynia. Uh, Vol Volhynia. Yeah. From Galicia to Galicia, we will be friends. Now, form an alliance with me. No. Screw you, dude. I also have this righteous imprisonment here we can do, but that's just a little count. I've got uh, I've got bigger things to worry about right now. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to cut through the south here. Uh, nope, here she comes. Here comes my aunt. So the key here is we have to keep them isolated from one another. Uh, all right. My son always has his nose in the scriptures. Yeah, let's have him be zealous. Okay. My wife, Margarita, has really been letting herself go as of late. What was once a graceful and delicate woman has slowly become an undignified and hefty glutton, only excited about her next great feast. Uh, I could, because I have high diplomacy, I could tell her to slow down. Or we could be mean. Or we can say it's none of my business. These must be the new fat and thin events I've been hearing about. Alright, what is my... Jeez, I started so bad, but at least I've got almost everything in double digits now. So, hmm. Well, I will be polite. Okay. My son lacks all passion and ambition. I don't need him to be content right now. I need him to be something greater than that. I am relieved to see that my words did not go unheard. Margarita thanked me for my concern and promised me she will start dieting, dieting immediately. All right, let's try to... Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to suffer from river crossing, and she's going to get the bonus. No, 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 no. Okay, um, just stop before we're movement locked in. On second thought, 
We're going to go over to Salamanca and deal with the Portugal army first. Plus, it looks like this is where my allies are coming in. The, they're better able to help me, reinforce me. Come on. There we go. And it looks like they're the ones who are actually going to be besieging uh, Portugal, which is fine with me. Now, can we come over here to Toledo? How's the money? We're losing 11 a day. 11 a month, I meant. Okay, allow that. Damn, what are we going to do about the money? Here we go. We've got a nice big army coming through now. Ooh, maybe not as big as I thought. Where are they going? This looks like a Muslim warrior to me, too. Today in the market, I watched as a poor beggar took his bowl full of coins and went straight to the tavern to buy a drink. Perhaps mankind is unlovable after all. No more charity. No, no, no. I will just accept it. Although I think the stress thing is now canceling out. No, it's not canceling out the successful treatment. We're good. Let's actually add up all my health stuff here. So we got a plus one, two, four. We got, okay, we got four plus health. Okay, so right now we are perfectly even from being both stressed and we have cancer. So we're just at, at zero, either up or down. Duke Lope the Just, he's Castilian though, I don't want him. Uh, let's get over here and let's try to sow some descent down here. Who am I plotting to kill right now? Oh, the things I've been forced to do. We're still trying to kill Princess Lenore of Granada. Yeah, we gotta do that. Okay, these these armies are just running all over the freaking place, aren't they? Stop running, you cowards! Fight me. Oh, they want me to pick the theology focus. Oh, right, the hunting. That's probably keeping me alive. Well, they want me to do it. I feel pretty good. I feel like I've had a really good long life already. So we're going to switch it over to Theology. And that also gives me health. So it's not so bad. Actually, isn't it the same amount of health? Or did, does Hunting give me two? It's actually the same amount of health, so I'm perfectly fine. Good. Good, good, good. We're almost halfway towards getting another upgrade. And the Granada Enforces have been hurt. Ooh, Legalism. Then again, do I need the Legalism right now? Tolerance might be better while I'm trying to convert everybody. Short reign years. Popular customs, noble customs, religious customs. Majesty could be pretty good because I might have a kid who's going to be in charge here soon. Yeah, let's pick up Majesty. It's better in the long term for the, for the future empire. Right, they've got an Aragonese army coming in now. An invitation. We have received an invitation to visit the great monastery at Cluny. It could make for a most interesting journey. Cluny Abbey has grown to great prominence and power since it was given independence by the Duke of Burgundy in 910. Subject now only to the Pope and supported by extensive lands as well as generous donations, it is a great center of wealth and learning. The Abbey's church is the largest in Europe, not even the great cathedrals in Rome or Constantinople can match it. A wonderful opportunity. You know, I would like to actually talk about the Cluny Abbey, but... Uh, I, I feel like I wouldn't want to mess up. I've got some notes because I did study this abbey once. Uh, it's really interesting, the history of a lot of these monasteries and like orders of Christianity because they seem to go through this cycle where Christianity has become too corrupt, it's too gaudy, it's too money-driven, so we're going to create like a poverty-focused uh, poverty uh, order, monastic order. And then because we're like, quote unquote, pure Christians or something, we get a bunch of money from like nobles who want to go to heaven. So then we've got all this money and we build great big things and then we become corrupt and decadent. And so now a new order has to be established and on and on and on and on and on. So anyway, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. We will go. It's not like I'm leading my armies in the field anymore. 
Clooney Abbey. So this is the famous Clooney Abbey. The great church towers majestically over an extensive complex of buildings. The surrounding farmlands are rich and fertile, with peasants toiling to bring the fruits of the lands into the coffers of the monastery. You can see many monks moving about and also spot a nun or two. You can sense the atmosphere of learning, piety, and power. This is a place that enjoys the direct support of kings and powerful nobles, not to mention the Pope. So like I said, I promise in the next episode I'll talk about Clooney Abbey a bit. Not right now, though. I don't want to say anything wrong. What do we want to increase? Maybe stewardship? Yeah, let's try to get some stewardship going. Get a little more moolah coming in. Hard diet. Just going in a difficult diet to get back in shape. Expires on Halloween. Less martial diplomacy and stewardship, but more health. Oh! Her successor will inherit the weak claim. Okay, that's good to know in the long run. That we have got that. Okay. I watched my son Lucas at play with another child yesterday and noticed he didn't want to share his choids. chores. He needs a lecture on charity. Navarin, Navarin, de jour war over Navarra on Prince Anso the Strong. Seriously, guys? There's a war on and you're dealing with this? This is what you're starting to focus on? Okay, the Count, who I need to righteously imprison, is now also um, making alliances, which is very annoying. The rise of the Hansa, so that's some merchants up in the northeast, near the Baltic area, in the Baltic areas. Okay, got another victory here. Let's go deal with this army. Dang it, they're gonna they're gonna join. Is this a hilly area? It's it's forest. All right, good. There has been some distrust zone down there. Yet another morning when I wake up as tired as when I went to bed. Perhaps I should do something about my listless mind. Perhaps I need to spend some time alone. I can go into hiding. Uh, no, I'll get over it eventually. How is things going over here? No active mission. I've got lots of claims. Alright, enemy commander slain in the chaos surrounding the Battle of Santiago. My men cornered Prince Ferran of Aragon, who was cut down with ease. The symbols of high rank on his uniform apparently went unnoticed until a soldier stumbled over his corpse. Good. That was a huge one. That was a big fight that we won there. But uh, we now have a budget deficit after years of careful planning. Rodrigo de uh, Azevedo from the court of Count Gonzalo of Alcala has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls. Declaring his intention to press his claim by force. What's his claim? On the Kingdom of Portugal. Is this guy a vassal of mine? No. Should I make him one? Well, no, no. On second thought, no. We'll just leave that be. The, the important thing here is, yeah, he's got a small army that's going to go fight the Portuguese, which means less problems for me. We've also got a, a budget deficit going on, so we need to hurry up here. My half-brother Fernando has requested to join the Knights of Templar in their struggle against the infidel, even though this will forever disinherit him. He's got a claim on the Kingdom of Leon, so go with my blessing, guy. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't need him running around. Let's come over here. Get around. Just got to keep beating this army up. We got to do it before my morale gets any lower. Nice, I hit the 10k for prestige. In the chaos surrounding the Battle of Combra, my men cornered Mayor Hakam of Isecha, who was flailing miserably with his greatsword. I am told the poor man soiled himself before death came to claim him. He had zero personal combat skill. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's kind of a tight one. Yeah, it's because I'm taking those morale penalties. The smallest, the smallest spider makes my son Lucas squeal and run for cover. Dude, you're 11. Some fears are good, but there are limits. Fear is the mind killer. There we go. You must let it pass through you. Oh, is this a new portrait? One day, I, as I am sitting with my son, Gurr, I decide that I should show him an excerpt from the rule of St. Benedict in the hope of teaching him the way of God. He is very attentive, and I am sure he will grow up to join me in the Benedictine order. He is an excellent student. Interesting. I think he's actually also lacking a guardian. We'll have somebody else be his guardian. Uh, my steward. Yeah. Stuart's fine. All right, I think another couple holdings and we're gonna be able to call it a day here. Because yeah, we've maxed out, I think our, no, we haven't actually. 
maxed out on our battle score, but Chancellor Nuno is doing a superb job. I am having trouble with a town and a castle in Toledo, and I shall of course send my Chancellor Nuno to try and ease the relations between them and us, but which one should I start with? Uh, I guess we should go feudal. Yeah, the castle. Deal with that first. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's 95. One more holding should do it, I think. We're nearly there. Hey, we got some money now. We got we took it from their capital, I guess. And we're about to go into debt again. That's it. 100%. We're done. Enforce demands. We gain the duchy. And I think that... Is that going to be an end to Portugal? No, not quite. But they are extremely weak now. We have won. And we're considered threatening now. We're a little statecraft will cure eventually, right? Okay. What's next? Can we get a claim? The Duchy of Cordoba. And, uh, let's wait. Let's drop the levies. Cool. Alright, we're, we're getting there, slowly but surely. And yeah, we could request another claim. The Duchy of Cordoba. How big is that right now? It's pretty big. It's pretty darn big. It in, plus it has Cordoba, which I think has the most holdings of the entire, uh, I think it has the most holdings in the entire peninsula. Pretty sure. No, Granada has quite a few as well. Cool, but though we're really short on money right now, so we could request the claim. Um, we've got three more years to kill. Sure, let's request the claim of the Duchy of Cordoba. Let's get it while we can. Thank you very much, Pope. We're only at 7.8. Yeah, we're, we're clipping we're clipping right along here. If we can just hang on a little longer. God's blessings upon thee, Comissus Fernando, bringing the true faith and salvation to others is among the holiest of duties. Therefore, we ask of you to construct a new church in your lands so subjects may have somewhere to say prayers and worship. Go with God. Uh, <laughs> how many more churches can I build, dude? I don't. You got money? You got money for me to do that? Oh, we got a new pope. Hmm. So, let's just let the money come in for a little while. It's not looking so good. My prisoner is complaining. Pedro of Asturias. Let him rot. I don't care. Oh, he's married to my cousin. Well, she should have picked a winner. The book composed. Oh, right. The book. I forgot about this. Everyone knows that I have spent over a decade directing the work on my book, when today I am presented with a final product. Legends of the Diavera, huh? I scratched my chin, almost surprised the work has finally been finished. I am just glad we finished this before I left this earthly realm. Uh... Oh no, I've become uninspired. I'm going to have that for 20 years. Uninspired really sucks to have. Wait, is it me that got it or someone else? Okay, but let's take a look at this uh, artifact here. Where is it? Legends of the Diavera, only quality 2. It's not amazing, but it's more prestige and dynasty opinion goes up. I thought it said I was uninspired now, though. Damn it, this count keeps forming alliances. <sighs> okay, we locked him away. Any factions I need to be worried about? Mm, elective successor in Valencia, led by Duchess Aeneas. Oh, she's mad that I have her husband. But my nephew is going to inherit from her. You know what? Let's... Hmm. Give spiritual guidance. We'll plot to kill for right now. How's my heir? He's only got positive traits. He's doing pretty good in state diplomacy. Not so much in the personal combat skill. Because of all these virtues he's getting. Hmm. I also do not have a designated regent. What is happening over here? Who are they fighting? Suzerain of Granada. Look at this. This little Portugal apparently controls Granada. Uh, Holy War for Zaville on defense. Hmm. I actually kind of hope the Muslims do take it. I don't want to have to deal with Denmark all the way down here in Spain. 
Whoa, big revolt happening in France. What's going on, Louis? Louis the Lion, Philippe the Great. Who the heck is this? The Bourbons have broken off. What is this war over? Christian defensive pact against France, but they're defending Robert's claim for France. So the leader of this revolt is this guy, Raymond Bereng. Hmm. We have another righteous imprisonment we can do here, Count Beatrice. Just in the plot, woman. Nope, apparently not. Okay, what, what, what's this pop-up? The rumors regarding me and my alleged chastity have grown into ridicule. Something will have to be done, or my reputation as a strong man and king will suffer. Declare my love for my wife. There's a 5% chance I am no longer chaste, but my wife will become lustful. Pay someone to spread stories about my manliness. I'm sorry, I do not have that kind of money. Uh, but I'm still chaste, it looks like, and the defensive pact against me has gone away. All right, so it looks like... My aunt is cleaning up the last bit of uh, of Muslim lands here, I think. Or what's going on? Defending against the Sultan in the Almohad Holy War for Seville. Oh, she's on defense. All right. Hmm. What else could we do now? Uh, and how are we in terms of devotion? Oh, we're about to be able to go up again nice yep we can rank up and we are now oh and my wife is pregnant excellent that's all I need is more kids right it actually should make things a little bit easier if uh, if they go away because then like the kingdoms will split or no I guess it's all in the eye of the beholder but we are now a conversus we've been approached by a fellow member of the Benedictine order who will help you become more diligent power to convert counties now we can right click the title shield of a, a county to convert the local population to my religion which is obviously very powerful considering i'm on a reconquest run speaking of which i wonder how long it's going to take until we're allowed to do that again i thought it was possible for more than one reconquest to happen in somebody's lifetime if it, it could be a long lifetime but it's possible because i thought you could then establish a bloodline for that person because they are a continuous conqueror or something like that. Who's this? The Prince of... No. No. Gonna decline that. Got some betrothed that can marry. I'm sure that I set those up nicely whenever they were done. This person with less than 2,000 troops is plotting. She's plotting to lower the crown authority. Uh, okay, I guess we could try it. Nope, she's in rebellion now. It's a small one, though. Not too bad. Well, I'll just even only call it my personal levies for this one. It should not be too much trouble at all. What now? I have inherited the Duchy of Valencia and other titles from Duke Manrique the Wise. Nice. Very cool. Whoops. Defeat. And we took them out. There we go, 22. This shouldn't be any problem at all. So that's good. I now have another duchy, although I can call in some allies. I will not do that. Let's wait on that. Uh, are some people pissed at me now because I have too many duchies, I think? Yes. How about down here? Is there anybody who maybe wants the duchy of Valencia, so that's what they're mad about? Nope, everybody just really, really, really loves me. Except for the whole... Um, except for that whole constantly have my vassals raised thing uh, but pretty soon here we are going to be able to go to war to pick up Barcelona um, how long oh is, is the truce over with them I thought I still had it oh he now has an heir that's uh yeah actually in Aragon so we don't have to worry about that going into the Holy Roman Empire anymore that's good I could seek treat for my illness again. I think we're going to wait on that. Um, hmm. The daughter was born to King Fernando, Sword of the Lord, and Princess Margarita named Elvira. That's a nice name, but I think we're going to go with... Oh, shoot. I would really have to... <laughs> I really have to check my Patreons for that one um, for a girl's name. I know I've got a couple. 
There's a couple here somewhere. Let me look at my community. Whoops. I'm trying to look at this. Sorry about the delay, everybody. But, you know, it's been a pretty exciting series. A whole lot is going on all the time. So, if I go to my Patreon... Hmm... Interesting that it's a daughter, too. That's going to be good for, uh, for other things. Come on. Oh, jeez, this is taking way too long. So we're just going to go with... Uh, I know I've got Josh Morda Morton. Or wait, no. You know what? We had a new... I had a new Patreon join just yesterday who had a, who had a funny name. I remember that. I'm sorry, I should have I should always have the Patreon thing just pulled up. Yeah, Jesus Puffs, that was it. My daughter Jesus Puffs. <laughs> okay. And I finally fulfilled that ambition to have a daughter. Jeez, how long ago did I take that? Like a million years ago. And I can't take any more ambitions. I've pretty much done everything I could. I could seek some treatment for the illness again, but I'm feeling pretty good right now. Let's not trip over the finish line in regards to Barcelona. We're gonna we're gonna get that claim. We are pulling in money every day. My dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm, among others. It has quite impressed Prince Bishop Gutierre of Santiago. You have maintained correspondence on various religious and philosophical matters for some time and find that you are rapidly becoming good friends. Our common interests bind us together. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, she's only got a few holdings. Yeah, the... yeah boy, that ticking war score for just holding on to your holdings. It moves quick, doesn't it? I received a letter from my fellow member of the Benedictine Order. Oh, this just has to do um, with poetry. Hopefully my aunt picks this up quick. I have not been automatically bringing people in. Brilliant work and people need to see it? No. We'll give this to the Benedictine Order and that'll give me more piety. The money, we're, we're starting to, I wouldn't say we're rolling in the money, but at least we're turning a profit. Come on, why is it taking so long just to get the top holding? It's probably because I don't have that many men committed. Can we get a claim over here? Another one? No. Won't let me do it. The truces are expiring. You have 38 days, 30 days, almost. Soon, soon, soon. We're probably going to jump right into the war with Aragon. Who do they have a pact with? Nobody. Wait, no, up here. They've got a pact. Ooh, they could potentially be in a pact with France. If I'm not careful. They've got like 6,000 men. France has got 20,000. France is absolutely massive right now. Hmm. A little more prestige. We're over 11,000 and counting. What can we do here? To pick an ambition? No. Wait, there's no way we're going to be able to stay at peace for five years. So we've got this claim on Cordoba and another claim on Barcelona. As I prayed before the altar, I was suddenly filled with an overwhelming sense of love. Crying with joy, I knew that I am never truly alone. God is always with me and I am no longer stressed. That'll do it. That will do it. Okay. So. What are we getting? I don't want to start the war now since the episode's almost over, but what we could do is... How is she doing? She's got about 7.7 thousand people. Oh, she's had several more children. Come on. That was okay. There's definitely no way we can just assassinate our way to getting the kingdom. You know what? It's probably for the best. It wouldn't have been very Christian of my character. The Almohads have been having some troubles, but uh, I think they started to push east. Am I wrong? Hmm. What is going on in the rest of the world? I haven't really been checking in. Yeah, Galicia became independent up here. This is just a mess. Where, where's the Teutonic state? How are they doing? Who knows? I guess they're still trying to fight their northern crusade or something. But the Latin Empire, Nicene. Latin Empire's just been sitting there, not doing anything. I don't know if the Bulgarians are going to try to come down with their child queen. The Nicene Empire is having a rough go of it, though, and I think they're going to get eaten up by rum. Looks like they're fighting for Crete at the moment, though. Getting some areas down here. 
Huh. And Jerusalem also has seen better days, I think. They're defending in three different wars. I don't think it's going to go well for them. The Quarmazads are dealing with a revolt. Karashar is over here. Mongol Empire really just never ended up stretching that far, did it? Genghis Khan's grandson is just hanging around mostly. Not doing much. And Delhi, I'm pretty sure, is getting smaller. Okay, but anyway, in the next episode, we will be attacking Eragon. We have a decent amount of savings. And I, I think as long as they don't call France in, we should be okay. You know what I could do? Is I could try to form a pact and alliance with, uh, with France. Does he have anybody available? Maybe betroth him to... I don't know, betroth him to somebody. I've got a daughter, don't I? We can try to... We can try to make something happen. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.